Good morning, people of the grid. Wow, the weather here is just so nice. I am in a short sleeve shirt, and it is 8.30 in the morning. That isn't the weather in Calgary right now, I'll tell you that. Um, we stayed overnight here at the Best Western in Kelowna, which is great. And this morning I got up, I got ready, and now I'm moving the car over to charge it. So I didn't park it over here overnight, obviously. That would be not within EV etiquette to leave a car charging at a supercharger overnight. So I moved it here this morning. I'm going to charge it while we have breakfast so that we can do our final leg, which is um, uh, from here to Richmond. Amelia and her friend have to be there by 4 o'clock to go to practice. So that's what we'll be doing is we're going to be uh, making sure we get there by 4, which we should have lots of time. Um, so I'm going to plug in. I'm going to go have breakfast and then I'll give you some details about the trip. Charge port button wouldn't open. Seems to be taking a lot longer to um, communicate with the car and commence charging than I remember. Of course, Mike says I'm a supercharging noob because I don't get a chance to do it as much as him, but it just seems like it's a little bit longer. Seventy three kilowatts. <clears throat> Not um, as good as what I was seeing yesterday, but um, it should go up. My battery is cool. It's not cold, but um, I'm sure that'll go up shortly. So we're at 384. We've got 15 minutes remaining. I'm going to, we're done eating and we're ready to go. So we're going to go. It's only like 10 kilometers that I down about that. So looks pretty good. Look, it's so easy to unplug. Even a kid can do it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay. Look. Okay, unplug my car, you silly girl. And then just what it closes. So I think it's where it goes and closes. Oh, that's that's so cool. I'm out of my god. Ready to go? Yeah. It's saying as far as the rest of our trip, so we've got another four hundred kilometers. Um, so we've done 600, we have 400 left. Uh, we're going to have to charge in Hope for about 20 minutes and then we'll get to Richmond with about 18%. So it says it will get us there around 211. Not bad, so a little bit ahead of time. So I think we'll be stopping at Tim Hortons. changes. All right, we made it to Hope. That ho that highway I showed you a little bit of video of, that's the Coquihalla. We have a show about the Coquihalla. It's called Highway to Hell. And uh, it shows like accidents and trouble that they have in the winter. It's a really high mountain range highway. And it's the fastest highway that I know of in Canada that I've ever been on. It's 120 kilometers an hour. Um, it doesn't seem like the car picks up the signs in the middle, those um, variable speed signs. I don't know about the ones on the side. I'll double check the digital ones and get back to you on that. So anyway, we're here at Hope. I'll show you what I got here with. Here with 21% remaining. And 83 kilometers. So the car says I'll have to charge for about 25 minutes. And since we're running a little bit short on time, I better get out and do that. You can tell I haven't been to Hope in a while because they've added chargers. So yeah, you'll notice they've added dual headed chargers. So, well, they're not dual headed, but they're on both sides. So you can charge on either side. They've added 
uh, drive in or drive through one over there. So these four are new. And then they also have these ones over here, which were the six originals. Very cool. Two things. One, progress. Two, I need to come to Vancouver more often. Maybe stay off the road. Look at that, 126 kilowatts, 625 kilometers an hour. Gotta love that. Won't be here long. Unfortunately, because we're in a hurry, I usually have to rush the girls to finish eating. The car's already done charging enough for us to go, but uh, they're not ready. So Amelia's a little stressed. I don't like rushing, mom, but gotta go. Oh man, I just rushed my car. Mr. Bird. You're gonna fall and hurt yourself and then you're not gonna get to play volleyball. Quick little pit stop and we've got enough energy to go where we need to go. That's where we're at charging wise. 78% full. 312 kilometers, away we go. So I made it to Vancouver. Traffic was a little bit uh, crazy when we got into like the city proper. So Amelia had to run in and get changed because they have to get to the Oval for practice. I'll show you what I made it here with. So I made it here with 134 kilometers remaining. So basically, um, I think I had like 34% remaining. It was solid. Like, well, I can show you what the percentage is here. I can just change it over. 34, look at that, I remembered. And uh, I kept my speed. Um, it was pretty much much, up, pretty much right on the line. One thing I love about the Tesla, here, I'm just gonna close the door, push the brake. Oh, I love that. One thing I love about the Tesla, two things. So one, the supercharger network that um, currently no other electric car has, although thank you Sun Country for uh, giving us what we have across Canada for all electric cars. And the second thing is what we used to call in the LEAF the guessometer, the trip computer. It is amazing how well it can calculate range. And the more we drive and the more Teslas are out there, the better it gets because it crowdsources. So as far as weather and as far as hills and mountains, and it's amazing. It was bang on. And that way I can trust it. I don't worry about anywhere I go. I know I can get there based on that and I just build in a 20 to 30% buffer. Uh, on the way home, it's gonna be a long drive because we're doing it all in one shot. And so what you're gonna see is I'm gonna have to stay up bang on what the times are so that I won't be up all night because I have to volunteer at a different school Monday morning. It's gonna be the cannonball run on the way back. Stay tuned for Sunday. So I spent all day driving and then we got to the hotel just in time for Amelia to get changed and run over to the Oval, the Olympic Oval here for practice. And then I transferred a bunch of girls there and I transferred a bunch of girls back and now I'm out of charge. <laughs> so I had to come to the charger. I'm at the Tawasin um, Mills Mall. It's like cross iron at home. This thing has 12 chargers. Check this out. I think it's officially 
one of the biggest ones I've been to. I haven't been to any of the really big ones in the States, at least not when they've become big. I think the biggest, well, probably 12 when we went on our trip to Disneyland, but I'm gonna try to hit them all real quick because I forgot to bring shorts and it's so hot here. It's a good day. I'm done charging here. I have enough of a charge to get around and do my things tomorrow um, throughout the day. So thank you to Tuasin. It's beautiful here. Just been sitting on the grass, which is green, not like at home, and enjoying the beautiful weather, which it's still 20 degrees. Awesome. So have a good night. I'm gonna spend a couple days here. Maybe I'll take some video and uh, we'll see you on the Cannonball Run home. I feel like I should say Tammy out, but that'd be like stealing Mike's outro. So have a good night. Life.